Chris Berman, coming up on ESPN. It's always fun to watch a healthy number seven behind center. He's electric. He's Michael Vick. He's back at full strength as he looks to run circles around the NFL defenses in 2004. Atlanta Falcons, San Francisco 49ers. It's game time. Crowds of tailgaters arriving early this morning. These fans are primed and ready for the game. See the left side might be wide open. Ah, I was off the back foot. Ooh! Great coverage. Look at that. See? You see how in Madden, like, I would have just stopped. I, I got to remember it. I have all the control. Vic, Vic, Vic. First down. Let's go, Vic. Michael Vic on nothing happening, so he decides to scramble for it. And he turns in a pretty successful play there. He's never more dangerous than when he improvises. Let's go, Michael Jenkins. First down. There we go. Let's, let's try it. Uh, uh, quick like Vic. Oh, no, I got hit. One yard loss. He was all over that. I'm, I'm going to use your uh, rookie. Oh. Shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. No, let's go. No, sir. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, worked up. <gasps> he fumbled. Oh, my God. Hey, 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 Shawty. The tickle bitties, though. Ronnie Hurd delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there. Bro, what the, the fuck? Great hard nosed defense. Pick it, pick it. Yes, Mo Lewis. Mo Lewis. Let's go. <laughs> I love these animations. That was perfect positioning back there to get the interception. Heck of a defensive play. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. There you go. Out of bullet. Fig! Come on! Algie Crumpler tackles the offense. That's his second tackle so far. Check that out. Those last year numbers are solid. No. Oh, that was my zone. D Hall. Get him, D Hall. Oh, my God. That's the first big play from each, either side. Look at this run, Dan. Everything worked out to perfection. Look at the fluidity of the running style. There's no way no to tackle motion. them this game. You got to be right there. No! Oh my god, way to end the fucking half. Quarter, I mean. Jim Rattay plays this one in beautifully. Gotta see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the beat down from the arm. switch. Black 79. Switch. Oh. oh my God! Diaz the hall, get out of my way. D hall, Diaz the hall, D hall, D hall, touchdown. What is it? Jason Webster clearly earned a flag on this one. He held his man a little too obviously here. Yep, defensive holding is the call, and I got to agree with that. That's holding? How was that holding? 
football before the receiver even had a shot at him. Look, bro, they tested him. They are testing you. Let's get that. What? Come on, man. Outside on that play, but catching the ball was they are fucking goal. cheating. Incomplete. The incompletions keep piling up. And this thing goes wide open. Vic. What the f Oh my god! They're fucking cheating. Great presence of mind to try to oh, the God, man. It was a heads up play to second down. No, hell no. Keith Brook right there. And that will bring up. Nick throws this on a rope. Finnerin, first down. First down and five wide receivers take the field. Hurry up. God, how do you throw the ball away? Fuck it. Let it keep ticking. Why are y'all switching? Alright, fuck it. Take, take a long time. Peel his price! Falcons will take a time. Hail Mary. Jesus Christ. Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and i tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Falcons should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow... They've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Derek Smith would turn things around. Big shift in momentum here as he pounced on a fumble. The defense recovered. 49ers end of the first quarter, already inside field goal range. Mo Lewis is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. 49ers still late in the first. Kevin Barlow is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then let get him go. He's off to the races. They get the first score and go up by seven. The Falcons on defense, number 38, would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Falcons down seven to nothing. Michael Vick connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Niners are holding on to a lead, seven to nothing. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Deep corner out and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Oh, D Hall. Great return. Great return. Still with the play action. He's open. Here was Price. First down. There we go. Fearless Price had a defender close by, but was able to bring Look down the catch. Look at this. Awful. They don't have their eye on the there wasn't a lot there for him. Nothing go Feely. Fourth and long coming up. Yeah, the offense didn't really execute like they wanted to there. Fourth down and the field goal is on the field. Let's go Feely. There he is. Puts it First points on the board. The okay. Good. Jay Feely knocks through a good size kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously still. Go, 26. Big bullying. 
Holding. D-Hall! D-Hall! He jumped the route! I'll run him! D'Angelo Hall! D'Angelo Hall! Touchdown! Let's fucking go! Oh, oh! Oh, is that Levine? D'Angelo Hall picks off the ball, and he's going all the way! Nobody can stop him. Man, I hope his mom's got the VCR going. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be... Oh, keep working! Let's go! There we go, defense. There we go, defense. Man, this is a nice interception. Check his position out to make the grab. Got it. That's the... Fourth down. 55 yard with the wind. Ah, that's not enough. Feely launches the 55 yard no. attempt and wow. No of the goal post. That was way short. Vic. Vic, get out of bounds. That's the Vic, I know. They see me thinner and I'm looking for you. Oh, never mind. We're gonna get the block? No, it's okay. We're gonna step out of bounds. Look at Vic. I like the effort. Look at this, man. If all, all you gotta do is block it. Look at this. It's open. It's open. Get that block. Get that block. Seal that block. Uh, first down. Me and TJ duck it. We got power. Let's go. Uh, TJ duck it. Off me. Get off of me. That's game. Beautiful job. Picking up the first down and four yards. Well, y'all, that'll be it for this video. Like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. And I will open the next episode on the last week recap. So take away Berman for the post game. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video games post game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Falcon stepped it up for sure putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Michael Vick would find his target on this one. That set up a 38-yard field goal. The Falcons climb back into the game, now down by four. The 49ers with possession at the 44. D'Angelo Hall shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Falcons. The Niners, after getting an interception, Niners behind by three. Keith Brooking was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Michael Vick would get the carry here. Good blocking up front. It helped us bring him. And that's where we'll leave this one. Falcons edge out a win, 10 to 7. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Michael Vick is on the sidelines with Susie Culver. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You transcended the competition today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? This was a hard game for us today. Both teams put everything they had into winning. We were fortunate to come up with some big plays down the stretch, and that allowed us to come out on top. Back to you, Chris. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long.